DreAllDay.com. Talk, I'm gonna talk about a cliche that all y'all have heard, which is the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Some of y'all might remember a few years ago when they had the, the Occupy Wall Street thing. When was that? This maybe it might have been 10 years ago. I don't remember when that was, maybe 2015. But anyway, the whole thing was about people talking about the 1%, right? You got this 1% of people who have all the money and they're controlling everything and they, they got everything. And then you got all these other people who don't have anything, they don't have money, and you know, they're the underprivileged. That was the whole, that was the genesis, or of at least the modern version of all this wokeness and social justice shit started with that Occupy Wall Street and all these people having this belief that they are the 99%, whereas 1% of people who have all the money, they control everything. When on a rational, logical, factual level, anyone who lives in America, even if you live in poverty in America, you are already in the top 1% of income earners in the world. And many people, a lot of those people who were down there occupying Wall Street, living in tents, didn't want to think about that fact. I and mean, they can't let facts get in the way of their beliefs or their, their good story. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is all about this concept. Y'all have heard the saying, this cliche, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Many people incorrectly think that this comes from the fact that they indeed are in the 99%, that there are some people out there who are just privileged. They get born into a certain amount of privilege these days. Now you got white privilege, whatever privilege. They get born into money. They get born into a certain class or a certain status. And because they already have it, all they gotta do is just maintain it. They don't have to do any extra work and they just stay on that on that trajectory for the rest of their lives. Then you have people who are born without the status. They don't have the privilege. They don't have the money. They don't have the resources. They gotta work really hard just to be okay. And then they spend their whole lives. It's not that they don't get better or make money, but the gap between the people who have and the people who don't have as much just gets wider because the people with the status and with the money and the privilege, they just accumulate faster than everybody else accumulates. So even though you are making money, the gap between you and the people with more than you just keeps getting wider and wider. And because you're making a mistake, the, this is the just the principal mistake looking on other people's plates. You're looking at what everybody else got compared to what you have. You're complaining then, and then you buy into this whole bullshit, this whole bullshit uh, story, this rationalization, oh, they got more than me. Even though you're doing your thing, they have more than me. So it's because they have privilege and this and that, and then you become a woke social justice warrior and your all your rational thinking is going out the window. And again, that is also not the topic of this video, but I'm bringing it up because this is one of the ways that you hear people talking about it. Let me explain to you why the rich actually get richer and why the poor actually get poorer. And I'm going to tell you how you can be in either one of these groups by choice, not by nature, not by birthright, but by choice. You can choose to be in either one of these groups and it is your actions and your mindset that determines which group you are a part of and which group you stay in. I'm gonna explain exactly how that works right here in this video. Now, I will tell you first that I did write an article about this just the other day. I'm recording this. I wrote an article about this yesterday, two or three days ago from when I'm recording this. And when you see it, it might be a week or so later, but I know all y'all don't read. So I'm gonna do it in video format as well. And here's the thing. The reason that rich get richer, first of all, you gotta understand what rich and poor mean. A lot of people throw these words around, don't even know what they mean. First of all, if you look up the definition of rich and poor, the definition of rich, it said the first definition. You know how you read a definition, it says number one, and then it gives you one definition, then number two is a different way of defining the same word. So the first definitions of rich and poor both have to do with money. First one says rich means a person who has accumulated a lot of wealth or an exorbitant amount of money or whatever that means. That is not a good definition of rich because how much is a lot? We all have different definitions of a lot, right? If I ask you, is $100,000 a lot of money? Maybe to you, depending on where you are in life, Another person might look at $100,000 and say, no, that's not enough money. It depends on the situation. So a lot or not enough, that's the definition of poor, you don't have enough money. You don't have an adequate amount of money. How can we define those when the terms are super relative? So those are not good definitions. The other definition of rich is a person who is able to, I forget, I forget even what the actual definition was in the dictionary, but if you read my article, you can see it. But in the other definition of rich, how it is described as is a person who 
gets more, a person who sees more, a person who wants more and thus acquires more for themselves. Now that's also relative, but more is again relative to what you already have. So rich is expanding, a person who expands, a person who wants to get more. Whereas poor is a mindset of, and poor again, it has nothing to do with how much you have. Poor is a mindset of not enough, of inadequacy, of being short, of you no, know, just not having what you want and again, it's a mentality. It's not about your actual status. You can have a dollar in your bank account and not be poor in terms of your mindset. You can have a million dollars in your bank account and be poor in terms of your mindset because the mindset of not having enough, of inadequacy, of being short, of want, that is what the mentalities of rich and poor are about. And rich and poor are much more about your mindset than they are about your tangible status of how much you got, how much money is in your pocket, what you can buy, you know where you live what kind of car you drive any of that any of that surface level stuff that a lot of people tend to pay attention to so what does it have to do with the rich getting richer and the poor getting poor it is the following the reason why people who have a rich mindset get more in their lives is simply because they understand the value of investment what does investment mean simple definition of investment is you put in a certain amount of your resources into something today with the idea, the belief, that putting that investment of your resources into th something now is gonna pay you back more in the future. That's all investment is. If you go to the gym, you invest in working out, and what are you gonna get in the future? You're gonna get big muscles, you're gonna have a healthier heart, you're gonna live longer, you're gonna you know, be able to survive a, a virus, you get the cold, you're not gonna die from it. That's investment. You put something in now, and you get more out in the future. That's all investment means. Rich people understand the concept of investing and therefore they invest. There's chickens crossing the road right now. Can y'all see those chickens right there crossing the road? Anyway, rich people understand the value of investing. Therefore, they always put in, let's say they put in one unit of investment. What do they get out? They get out three units, 10 units, 20 units of return on investment. This is what rich people do and this is why the rich get richer because they put in one and they get back 10. So every time they put in one, they're multiplying their investment by 10. That's how they get richer. They're already rich in their mindset and all they're doing is multiplying with their efforts. They put in time, money, attention, energy, and focus. Those are your forms of investment and they get more and more out every time they put something in. Now, how do poor people get poor? Poor people get poorer simply because they do not, either they don't understand or they don't agree with or they have some emotional hang up about the concept of investment. So here's what they do. They don't invest. And the only way that they can improve and move up is by addition. They don't do multiplication. Rich people do multiplication. Put in one, get back 10. All right, that's a 10X return on investment. Everybody knows basic math, right? What do poor people do? Poor people, instead of doing multiplication, they do addition. They put in one unit in, they get one unit back. So they go from one to two to three to four. Whereas rich people go from one to 10 to 20 to 30. So over the course of five years, a rich person has multiplied their inputs by 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, whereas a poor person has added on to their inputs one, two, three, four, five. So they're both growing, but the gap is growing. So the gap is getting bigger every moment simply because the rich person is doing multiplication and the poor person is doing addition. So this is why and how the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Now, what does this have to do with you and how do you have control over it? You have control over it because you can choose which mindset you're gonna adopt and which mindset you're gonna live by and which actions you're gonna take that subsequently adhere to these mentalities. So you get to choose. Are you gonna be the person who is adding that's the poor mentality, or you're gonna be the person who's multiplying, that is the rich mentality. Now, being that I made this sound so simple, you might be asking yourself, Dre, why the hell would anybody choose the poor mentality? If everything you're saying is true, Dre, why would anybody choose the poor mentality of addition when they could easily multiply? Here's why, because we gotta understand what investment means. Investment means you put something in now, up front, and then you get the return later on the back end, meaning you must have the faith and the belief and the discipline to put something in now, even though you are not guaranteed to get that return until later. What do we call this? We call this delayed gratification. We, this is why investment is what it is. And this is why everybody does not do it or not everyone does it simply because you don't get the return right now. And this connects to another pr principle that I've shared. It's called time perspective. What is time perspective? The 
the more successful a person is, the further into the future they think about their actions. Whereas a, a, the less successful person, they only think about what are they gonna get for their actions right now? What is the immediate result of my actions? That's what a less successful person thinks about. Whereas a more successful person thinks about, all right, if I do something right now, what am I gonna get for this action five years from now, 10 years from now, six months from now? They think about the future of their actions Whereas a poor thinking person only thinks about the immediate return on their actions. If you wanna be an investor, if you wanna be a rich person, you wanna be rich in your mindset, you gotta think about not only what do I get right now, actually you don't have to think about what you get right now at all, you gotta think about what if I do it right now, how is it gonna help me in my future? So you're thinking further along, further into your future instead of just thinking about the immediate moment. The more successful a person is, the more willing they are to accept delayed gratification. That is how the rich get richer because they will delay gratification and the poor get poorer because they need immediate gratification. So the question is not if this is true or not. This is 100% true. I just explained it to you. The question is which one are you and which one would you choose to be moving forward? Now, what do you do with this material? First of all, make sure you text me and get my daily motivation text every single day. I will give you material to keep you in a rich mindset. My number is 305-384-6894. The next thing you can do is claim your free copy of my books, The Mirror of Motivation and The Third Day. They are, the links are down below in those show notes. And if you're ready to take it to another level after that, if you already got the books or even though you have the books, you want to go to the next level after that, what you need to do is join my mastermind program. If you like what I just told you over the last 10 minutes, Imagine if you get on a training call with me every week and I'm giving you this kind of game. I do hour long trainings. Actually, our, our trainings go like one to two hours, as a matter of fact, now. So I do the trainings, then we take questions, then we address people's challenges, and we go deep into stuff with people when it comes to mindset, when it comes to business, your overall life and business progress. All of that is inside of my Bulletproof Mastermind. That's my group mastermind program. That link is also down below. So if you like this game, Listen, I do this every single day, and I do literally mean every day. So that's what you need to do next. I don't need to say anything else. Work on your game. Enjoy all day.